Hey guys, so I posted a picture on Instagram uh, maybe like a week ago, a week and a half ago, something like that, about a missing iPod. So August 1st, because that was when my friends were moving out, on August 2nd, I sent a text to my friends and I said, hey, do you guys happen to find the iPod? Because it's been missing since like uh, April, maybe early May, but like April. I said, you guys find the iPod? And they're like, no, we've looked everywhere. We can't find it. And I'm like, okay, well, it's just weird. Somebody oh, signed on to it. Like maybe it was just a glitch in the system. Kind of wrote it off as nothing. A week later, I was going through my photo stream to find pictures from when we went and visited my mother-in-law to send her because she had sent me a few and I'm like, oh, I forgot to send them to you. Anyways, I was going back through my photo stream on August, I think it was August 2nd. It was like the day or the day after I had texted my friend. I saw all, I saw three very interesting photos and they were of another man. And I'm like, well, what? Like, why is somebody else's pictures like appearing in my photo stream that it was like light bulb? Okay, this guy must have our iPod. So I went in to find my iPhone or iPod or whatever. If you don't have that app, you need to get it because it's amazing. And it pinpointed exactly where the iPod was. So I locked it because you can put it in lock mode. And I put a note on it and I said, it's like a standard one. is like, this iPod has been lost. Please contact XYZ. So I did that. I said, I left like the standard, like this iPod's been lost. And then I added, um, this belongs to my children. Would greatly appreciate it if we could have this back. A week nothing so it was locked he couldn't couldn't open it nothing so a week went by and I had posted the picture on Instagram I think that the day that I saw the pictures or no the day that I after I locked it I don't know something anyways and I'm like everybody's like police escort police escort like you know because I was like all right should I just get a knock on his door I wouldn't I never had anything like this happen before so anyhow I I left the note yesterday the guy the guy calls me. I've had a lot of people ask, like, any update on this? Even though I left this, like, just on Instagram. Any update on the iPod? So, that's why I'm making this video. Anyways, update is that it is back in my possession. He had called and he said, hey, um, I found, I've got your kid's iPod. And I'm like, okay, can we meet? Like, can I, because I wasn't going to just go over there. And I didn't want to pull from our police forces, you know, I just didn't want to. Um, you know, and part of me was like, well, you know, maybe I just need to write it off. And I kind of sort of did just because I didn't want conflict. I was a little nervous about the whole thing just because of like, it was just, it was all very suspicious to me. So, you know, that it had been missing for four months and all of a sudden it was found and then all this other stuff. So anyways, my friend's husband said, if you go, I'm going with you. And I'm like, okay, good idea. Like, yeah. All right, I'm not taking my kids. Like, yeah, I need somebody to go with me if I'm going to recover this iPod. Um, so fortunately, he did. He happens to be a police officer, but I still felt bad, like, pulling from their resources for an iPod. You know what I mean? It seems, it just seems like they have bigger fish to fry. So it was kind of one of those weird things. But luckily, he did it, like, on his lunch break as a friend police officer. <laughs> so, um, anyhow... We got it back. He said to me, he was like, you know, he's like, here's your iPod. And I gave him five bucks. I was like, thank you so much. Because he was, okay, so here was, here's why it was super suspicious to me. He, he's like, I walk everywhere. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, what's the most public place near his house? And I was like racking my brain. And I'm like, okay, you know, at, the, at this store. He was like, mm, how about the gas station? And he wouldn't meet me anywhere but the gas station. And, or not gas station, I'm sorry, car wash. And this car wash is interesting because it's not one that has like an attendant. It's one where you go in, you know, you put quarters in and then you wash your own car, you drive away. They just provide like, you know, the drain, the water, the scrubbing thing, blah, blah, blah. So it was just really, it was like kind of a strange spot. I just, I don't know. I didn't like it, but I did. I gave him five bucks and I'm like, here, buy a coffee. Like, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for bringing it back to me. And he says to me, he's like, the pictures of your kids that were on there before weren't deleted by me. Yeah. He's like, but I have some pictures on there. If you wouldn't, you know, you can just delete them. And I'm like, okay, like, all right, like, thanks so much. Just, I don't know. It was interesting, but iPod is back. So anybody, oh, that's his picture still. <laughs> I haven't changed it yet. So um, anybody who's, who, uh, yeah, that's my story. I, like I said, I would have probably written it off. Now, let me turn that off. 
turn that off. I need to take his picture off. But it looks like it had been tried, like somebody had tried to, like, I don't know if this was like a very interesting drop or if it was like pride, but it's like lifted up and you can't really tell. It's funny how small these things are compared to like, ooh, I'm going to go from behind. Like the way that they are now. This used to be so big. All right, anyways, that's it. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for your input. I think you guys were right. I just am weird, I guess. All right, bye guys.